Hey guys, this is Odon Gaming. This is going to be another Dragonair Silent Gods video. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the shops that we have in game and what you should purchase from them. And I do not mean the ones where you spend money, right? I don't mean what should you spend on. I already made a video on that. I think it was yesterday or a couple days ago. But this time around, I want to talk about the exchange shops, right? The Artifact shop, seasonal shop, petal alliance, you know, all of these ones. Plus also from the store, the things that we can buy with the warmer. I pretty much want to go through all of these to kind of just give some advice to people. What are the best things you should be spending your resources on and what are the worst things? Because some of them look like, oh my God, they're so good, but they're complete traps, right? So I guess without further ado, let's, uh, let me just click this red dot because, you know, that's how red dots are. I don't like to see them. I got to click them, got to get away with them. But without further ado, let's jump into it and let's start from the top, okay? Uh, the top is going to be Artifact Shop. I'm not going to talk to this. That's a different video talking about artifacts. But the next one, the first one is going to be the Arena Shop, right? The cool thing about this game is even if you're not somebody that's a big Arena fan, just doing a little bit of Arena, advancing, advancing as much as you could, and then doing some quick challenges give you a ton of gladiatorial seals, right? It makes it really, really uh, awesome. It makes it really easy to get yourself some resources from the Arena shop without caring too much, right? So by, by, by having that said, what are going to be the top things you want to buy from here? Well, number one, from my point of view, maybe it's like, you know, it might not be as important as you get as we get further in the season because because there's better things coming out but number one priority if you don't have them yet is getting the lucky playing cards right so one of the easiest way that you can get a mythic artifact in the game without having to pull a dope legendary right and this is really awesome especially early on because it makes you guarantee the first or second ultimate hits on uh, in a fight this is going to be extremely good for stuff like arena right if you want to build somebody with a ton of crit damage the, the playing cards are going to be amazing now, number two is always going to be, obviously, the Helolite dice, right? Helolite is the best way for us to get more legendaries and, obviously, some more epics in the game. So, you want to grab them as soon as you can. Then, number three, from my point of view, is going to be the Starlight Stone dice. And the reason I'm seeing this, it's like, you know, you might think Essence of Creation might be better. Well, the Starlight Stone dice, from my point of view, is better because, well, this can, you know, it's a low chance, but this one can give you a legendary as well. And it also obviously also can give you epics, rares, and you know, and so on. So number three is going to be the Starlight Stone Knight. Number four is going to be the scrolls, the Master and Scholar scrolls. After a while, you're not going to need Apprentice scrolls from my point of view. So you're going to go and get those Master scrolls, those Scholar scrolls, whenever you can. But that's mostly in uh, after you start doing the Tag Arena, right? So. Uh, up until you get there, you're just going to focus with the basic one. And only at the end, from my point of view, is going to be the essence of creation, right? However, do keep in mind that if you get uh, yourself a ton of gladiatorial seal, as long as you have a little bit in the bank saved up to buy the Hilo Light when it's available, just try to always get at least the discounted ones, right? Get the discounted essence of creation because if you already finished buying lucky playing cards, you're going to gather so much of this resource that you're not going to know what to do with it. So you can easily buy almost, you know what? If you do regularly, even just quick random battles, you can buy out the arena shop most of the time. <clears throat> Now, if we move over to the Bard's Banquet, this one's pretty straightforward. Master Scroll, first of all. Secondly, the Scholar Scroll. And then, again, Apprentice Scroll if you need them. If not, go to the Starlight Stone Dice. Do not really get gold. Like, again, same thing over here. Gold, I feel like, is one of those traps. Like, it looks like, oh, this is going to be so good. It's too expensive to, for what it gives you, right? If it had another zero, maybe. But it's just too expensive to use the resource to buy the gold and it just goes away like just like that. So I would not buy gold for any of them unless you have a ton overflowing and it helps you have a little bit of gold at that point in time. So Bard Banquet again, the scrolls, obviously it's the only things Master, Scholar, and then I would go with the Starlight Stone Die and only then Apprentice Scroll last. Now if you look at the Alliance Shop, the Alliance Shop again it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Starlight Stone Die first, then you go for the Essence of Creation, and then I guess you could get some gold or some of the ore pack. But honestly, by the time you unlock all of these as a uh, as an alliance, these are useless from my point of view. Because like you start buying these, but you already have a ton of resource that you already farmed. So the alliance shop, I feel like the alliance shop needs a bit of a rework, right? Because right now, like I said, just starlight stone dice, some essence of creation, and then maybe you get some of this gold when you have overflowing. And that's about it. It's it's really poor. It's really poor. The shop it needs it needs a rework. Maybe they're gonna do it in the future. 
Now, I'm not going to talk about the petal shop. I'm going to leave this for maybe like next week when this one uh, goes live because it's, you know, it's kind of similar. Other seasons have uh, similar shops, but maybe not exactly the same. So I'm just going to skip this one and let's go to the season shop. Well, the season shop has become extremely complex and extremely different. And I love it. Honestly, I love it. This one's pretty straightforward. The way that they have changed it, it has made it so, again, from my point of view, you should always save your pure sand core, right? That you get to try and buy the inspirations for the seasonal heroes, right? I would say, and even me personally, I would stop buying the hero lights, stop buying the starlight. I would not buy anything else from the season shop. Again, this is my opinion. You can, you know, if you feel differently, let me know in the comments down below and why. Obviously, if you're a Kraken and you get maybe like a ton more of these, which, you know, it's it's actually hard because it doesn't matter how much you Kraken, actually. You cannot get the stuff from pure sand core. But the best things are going to be to try and get all five of Ardress Seal to get Ardress Inspiration 5, all five of Aladias so you can get her I-5, and all five of Calaveras so you can do the same thing for Calavera. Now, there's another one that, uh, it's funny, I don't, don't even see him in here. Why is he? he, they, he uh, is it even them that they know that he's so bad that, uh, what's his name? UTR, it's so bad that they didn't even put in here, but that's what I would do, right? I'll just buy all of these ones so you can get Inspiration 5 as soon as possible because not only do they give you some cool, uh, some cool stuff, but they also give you a ton of extra stats. And that's what's going to make them, you know, it's going to make your content in the future a lot easier. It seems like they only added Grumag scale over here, but not in the season shop. Like, as an example, you see that I have not bought anything yet. And the reason for that is the following. I'm waiting for next week to try and pull for a rook, and if I do get rook, then I'm going to buy all five of Calavera's candles, and then I'm going to wait for this, because uh, I skipped the last season, I'm going to wait for the event to finish to get Calavera, and then I'm going to have an Inspire 5 Calavera with my rook team, because unfortunately, rook is still the king of kings for the Vortex. Now, uh, I think that was about it for these shops. Now, let's look a little bit at the store shop and uh, basically this daily supply store. So... This one is pretty interesting because uh, there's some things that might seem good, some things that might seem bad in here. Well, the first thing that I would suggest is when it comes to stamina, I personally always buy the first one that costs 50 war marrow and then I stop, okay? For those of you that don't know, the first one costs 50, second one 100, third one 100, and then the last one costs 200. Problem is, it gives you the same amount of stamina. So that's why from my point of view, if you just buy one with 50 war marrow, that's good, right? 50 warm out of one refill, you should be good. Now, the next thing, and this is something that honestly was, uh, this is something that was added a lot later than when the game came out, and it's the best things ever, is the scrolls. Always buy, if you know that you're going to need and you don't have a good stock, always buy the master scrolls whenever they reset, right? They have a 30-day reset, so always buy these ones, always buy the scholar scrolls, but I would stop on the apprentice scroll unless you're maybe somebody that's only under four season. If you're in your fourth season, buy these ones as well. But after you get to your second or your third season, Season, you're gonna have so many of them that you you know you you just waste your war model. Now after that, when it comes to like uh, auto rate tickets, you don't want to do that. Buying stuff refills for uh, Champions Arena or the competitive the the three v three one, I would just not do it. And for God's sake, do not buy this. Do not spend five hundred war model to get uh, <laughs> to get one million gold. That's the biggest trap in this game. And then last but not least, it's going to be Helo Light. Honestly, if you're somebody that's still progressing and still needs a lots of copies of uh, champions, you should spend most of your war model should go on, on dice, right? After you bought what you have, what you want from the scrolls, just most of the war model should go on dice. Not going on this because this is too expensive, but dice. Helo Light dice are going to be the best thing in the game because you're going to get more heroes, you're going to get more artifacts, and then you're going to get more inspirations. The more inspirations you get, the better your hero are going to be and the easier it's going to be for you to compete in this game but that pretty much sums it up for uh you know my guide i guess or like my breakdown of the exchange shop of the daily uh what's it called again i, I keep forgetting the daily supply daily supply store so that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed it i hope this is helpful for you and if it is don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel to see when i upload next and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace love take care everyone bye guys <music>